Because some of y'all got this. And you know you got this. And you know you've experienced this. And you know he's inside of you right now saying, yep, that's what it is. And he's just translating for you. You understand it. He, I, what I've done in him, I've done in you. And you know it's inside of you. Except you don't dare let it out. I'm just being real. You scared to death. You trying to hold this thing in. I promise you hold that in too long. Like it both, it's going to kill you both. That's all there is to it. Like the dream is going to die, the purpose is going to die, and you're going to just wither on the vine. Because it is meant to come out. It is meant to be a living, breathing thing, that promise that he has put inside of you. That purpose that he has for your life. Listen to me. Like he did not bring you into his family to not um, let you walk in his promises. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. Because I'm talking to someone who is scared to death of what other people might think if they actually step out and did what God called them to do. Scared to death that they're going to be broke, busted, and disgusted if they leave their job to do what God has called them to do, to pursue that mission or that passion. Like, they're scared to death. And they're looking at what other people might think or what other people might do, and it's stopping them. It's stealing it from them. It is allowing them to, um, to do like the Pharisees and step back. And like the Pharisees, it's going to be the greatest mistake of your life. You should be running forward, dropping on your knees next to I don't care who next to you. I don't care what they look like, what they've done. Get before the one who can deliver you. That's what this woman got. She got delivered that day. That's what the Pharisees could have had, except they ran the other way. I'm telling you, don't do like the Pharisees. You run to the feet of Jesus. You run to your deliverer, and you let him birth what's inside of you, like my doctor did for my wife.